my name is Jalen Quarles, and I work at Pro X Athlete on Grand Park's campus. I'm 29 years old, and my role at Pro X, I am a hitting instructor and defensive instructor of baseball and softball. I also am the director of the first year organization of Pro X Phoenix, Phoenix Fast Pitch. Uh, we have nine teams in our organization. We have an AU team all the way through 360. I kind of just wanted to do a little intro video of like myself and also to show off our new banner in our new facility. Uh, Josie's filming this, who is our marketing guy. He does all of our promotions. And when that you see on the website or all the social media, he's gonna ask me a couple of questions. Why did you get into coaching? Uh, actually, coaching was gonna be like kind of my after college job. I kind of got thrown into it. I worked for Kevin Brown in Evansville. He had a couple teams and a guy bailed on him for his AU team and he kind of was like, hey, you're gonna coach my AU team. Kind of went into it where I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, but he was like, hey, you're smart enough, you'll be able to pick it up. Ever since I started coaching softball, it just kind of stuck and I'd rather coach softball than baseball. What position did you play growing up and why did you play that position? Actually, I started off as a catcher, which is surprising to most. My coach was like, hey, you're too athletic to just kind of stick to catching. I was like, oh, whatever. Put me in the outfield, and I made a couple of really good plays right away, and I fell in love with being an outfielder. I played mainly left growing up through high school and college. Where'd you go to college? I uh, went to Southeastern Illinois, which is a junior college in the grad conference. Transferred to University of Southern Indiana. That is now a Division One school, which was Division Two. Why'd you take the JUCO route? Uh, I took the JUCO route, one, because my grades weren't the best. I had some small school offers out of high school, but I kind of wanted to like focus on my game a little more. JUCO also led me to a D2 that allowed me to stay in a smaller city because I felt like if I would have went to a big Division One, I, I would have been lost in the sauce. What has been your favorite coaching memory with the Phoenix so far? Uh, my favorite coaching memory, obviously it's our getting our first win over the weekend, but then also have seen the girls grow through the practices where we started down here, we continue every single day to get better. I continue to tell them every single practice, hey, work on the little things. The little things will take you a long way in the game of baseball and softball. If you can do the little things every single day correctly, it builds and builds and builds you to a better ball player. What are some of those little things you mentioned? Uh, we do every days. And yes, every days get old. As in outfielders do drop steps to the left and the right. Infielders work on getting through the ball, make sure their left foot is forward, make sure we're sitting in our legs to get through the ball to make a good throw to first base or any base. If you could play on any MLB team, what team would you play on and why? Uh, I have two teams that I would like to play on. The first team is the Atlanta Braves. One, because every time I watch the Atlanta Braves, it looks like they're having so much fun, but also you can see that they are a huge family, how they work together. Also, the city of Atlanta is just, I love going to Atlanta any chance I can. Uh, the second team might actually take some people by surprise. I'm a huge Cubs fan, but I would want to play for the White Sox because, one, there's a guy that trains at our facility, as in Lance Lynn, and my favorite player is actually Tim Anderson. Last question for you, Jalen. Who's your favorite player to watch based off their fundamentals and why? Uh, my favorite player to watch is Juan Soto. I like watching Juan Soto because, one, he's a lefty, and his fundamentals of his consistent swing every single bat. Like I, I like to use in lessons. You should not change your swing no matter if it's in, middle, or away. If you watch his videos on YouTube or even on TV, you can see that his bat path and his swing is still the exact same for every single pitch. Right, be sure to follow me on Instagram at jalen.corals42. Uh, my TikTok handle is jaythehittinginstructor. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, jaythehittinginstructor.